I'm a great lover of fairy tales. I grew up on them and, um, you know, I read them constantly to my children, even though I've got three boys. You know, I've still read them Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast and Snow White. I think I love fairy tales and Cinderella in particular because they deal with really complex um, issues that face children, but, in, but often in um, quite confronting ways. And so many stories that children get told now, I think, are always trying to avoid sadness, avoid conflict, make them feel like they're a hero um, that doesn't necessarily, you know, they, they can overcome anything and the world is a perfect place. And the great thing about, you know, those wonderful old timeless fairy tales like Cinderella is that they say that the world can be a nasty place out there and you need a lot of courage and you need a lot of resilience and, um, and you will fall down before you stand up. Um, and I think they're all the things that happened to Cinderella. And there's so many, I have three boys, so many films out there <laughs> at the moment that have male superheroes um, at the fore. And this is really a story where kindness is a superpower. And that's something that Ken talked about um, really early on and I found that really, really exciting. And it's a female-centric story. And, um, and I was really excited to be part of the telling of that. The first time I walked onto the set, even before it was lit, um, I, I was gobsmacked. I mean, I had to pick my jaw up off the floor. And then to see what Sandy did with the costumes, it was really like an MGM Technicolor moment. It was, I, f I felt like I was transp transported back um, in, term um, in terms of cinema. And so that was a wonderful um, storybook world to, to enter. And as soon as Lily came on, she was like a breath of fresh air. She's totally unaffected. She's like a glass of water. She's, she allows you in, but gives so much back. Um, and there was, you could just, there's a generosity of spirit to her um, as a performer, which I think is um, really rare and an incredible discipline and um, focus and depth. Um, but she's also such a blithe spirit. So I think she's absolutely perfect for the role. She glows. I think it's a complete experience and I've really fully realised that when we filmed the ball sequence. You just don't see that. You don't see those grand, romantic moments where you say, yes! There was a moment with all the extras. There's a couple of beautiful, really difficult lifts that, um, that Richard and, and, and Lily did in the dance. And everyone just erupted into applause naturally when, when it happened because it was so beautiful. And I think because you're, you're really genuinely rooting for her. And you don't, I, I, a couple of the times when we were, I mean obviously we all know the story, but we all know the story of Hamlet. But we go and see Hamlet over and over again because you want to think, maybe this time he will kill Claudius. And the best possible production of Hamlet makes you think that. And there were several scenes that we shot where I thought, maybe she's not going to, maybe, you know, she's not going to find the courage to, to, to bite back at this, at this woman. Or, and, and so I've, I was really surprised by a lot of the scenes. And I think because it's so true um, uh, and therefore truly funny and truly tragic, uh, I think people are going to feel that they're being told the story for the first time.